If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. Kyrie, while we're on the topic of promotion, why did you decide to promote something that Alex Jones said? That was a few weeks ago. I do not stand with Alex Jones position, narrative, court case that he had with Sandy Hook or any of the kids that felt like they had to relive trauma or parents that had to relive trauma or to be dismissive to all the lives that were lost during that uh, tragic event. My, my post was a post from Alex Jones that he did in the early 90s or late 90s about secret societies in America of occults and it's true. So. I wasn't identifying with anything of being a campaigning, a campaignist for Alex Jones or anything. I was just there to post. And it's funny, and it's actually hilarious because out of all the things I posted that day, that was the one post that everyone chose to, chose to see. It just goes back to the way our world is and works. I'm not here to complain about it, I just exist. And to follow up on the promotion of the movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it? Do you see me doing, do you see By me in front of the, it out there, the People are gonna say that you are Yeah, I put promoting. it out there, just like you put things out there, right? Yeah, but I, okay. I, it's not You put stuff. things out there for a living, right? Right, but my Great. stuff is Great. not so let's move on. filled let's with move on. anti-Semitic let's stuff. Let's move on, don't dehumanize me up here. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing I'm that, another you're human free being. to post I can what, post whatever I want, so say what, that and shut it down and move on to the next question. But Kyrie, you have to understand that by I don't have post, to understand anything from you. But, but it's nothing. not me. Nothing, by it's no people that you're making up, bro, move on. But by posting what you did. Move on, next question. Next Anybody question. Do you guys have any more questions? And they're me? gonna say, "You guys have any more questions?" Because this is gonna be a clip. Beliefs. This is gonna be a clip that he's gonna marvel at. Is this any more questions? But you're not answering the question. Oh, this, this is another answering your question. Oh my God! Let's make another Instagram clip so we could be famous again. Next question. Kyrie, basketball related. So let me, for, just in case anybody is uh, wondering what just took place here, you are watching people in the media trying to assassinate this man's character. Uh, by way of the exact same thing that they've claimed about black people for, I guess, the longest time possible, trying to say that black people are anti-Semitic. Now, because Kyrie decided to post something as he stated, this is from the early 90s, and Alex Jones was talking about secret societies. Back in the, the times of the early 90s, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, whatever, people were talking about secret societies. People were trying to, you know, uh, have people catch up to a lot of the groups that are out there running things in the background, whether you want to believe it or not, it's whatever. I'm not trying to debate that. It is what it is. You got your belief. I got my belief, right? But notice how the guy kept trying to press the question, right? And he kept trying to say that he was siding with and agreeing with and on, you know, the same thing as Alex Jones, right? So, when Kyrie, in a sense, broke down every single thing that he was doing, what was the last resort that he had? He was like, well, Kyrie, you know, you know, uh, Alex Jones has posted some anti-Semitic stuff. See, right there. That was point number one. Right. Because before he tried to get in with the, in a sense, the, the Sandy Hook thing, because that's the most recent thing, the lawsuit and everything else. Right. And that didn't really work out because Kyrie basically covered uh, that whole thing directly on video. So he's like, yeah, I couldn't really get him on that. So what else is going on? Um, um, um oh, 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 yeah, the black guy, uh, 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 uh Kenny A. He, 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 he's uh doing um, you know, anti-Semitic things. If I think correctly, Alex Jones has said some anti-Semitic things. Oh, and then Kyrie, you're black and you're a man. You're famous. You're wealthy. You got money. You got a position, and you're agreeing with Alex Jones, who has said lots of anti-Semitic things. So one plus one equals two, and that's exactly what he tried to do. That's exactly what he tried to do. And Kyrie was not about to let that because he already knew what the, what the dude was trying to do. He already knew. That's why the guy kept trying to sit up there and force it. 
Because Kyrie already knows at the end of the day, the dude is going to try to spin this and be like, oh, Kyrie, he wouldn't exactly say if he doesn't have any anti-Semitic views or not. I don't know if he is anti-Semitic or not, but this is not a very, uh, you know, good look. If Kyrie has any Jewish friends or whatnot or whatever, I think that they should really give Kyrie a call and really question him and let him know that he shouldn't post this and post that because this could really look bad on his part and anybody else that is associated. That, Like I said before, this is the whole game that they play. And this is when I tell people that I get, like like I said before, I don't watch sports at all, right? But I happen to see certain things. And this is when I consistently tell people, pay attention to the things that are happening to black people. I don't care if you do not like them or not. I don't care if you disagree with them or not. Like I said before, black people are too emotional. That's what I'm finding out by, you know, doing, you know, social media. Black people are far too emotional where they cannot separate their emotions and themselves from logic. And because black people cannot consistently do that on an everyday basis, this is why we stay losing. And this is why attacks like this can happen directly to black celebrities, athletes and whatever, directly in front of our face. And we're not going to bat an eye. Why aren't we going to bat an eye? Because, oh, Somebody says something we disagree with, so we don't like them in general. We, we, we just hate them. We're going to throw them to the wolves. Like I said before, this is why at the end of the day, black people are going to continue to lose. And the only time that black people are going to stand up and actually do something is going to be at the last five seconds of the game clock. That's when black people are going to want to get off the bench and actually do something. And it's going to be too late. It's going to be far past too late to even do anything. Like I said, where are all of the black people to call out what it is that the media is doing to this man on national TV? They're trying to paint him as anti-Semitic because of a comment or or a, a tweet, whatever it was, back in the 90s, right? It was a quote. Sorry, not a tweet. It was a quote from back in the 90s or whatever from Alex Jones talking about secret societies. So you decide that you want to Look at what he's quoting, and you want to try to put that into today and say that he is siding with Alex Jones and a lot of the views or all of the views that Alex Jones, that, that's the most far-reaching, ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. And then he switched it. He was like, no, it's, you know, it's not about me. It's, you know, it's just a bad look in general. And if, you know, other people, they're going to be like, well, it's Kyrie, anti Semitic. Like I said before, he went for a number two. Like I said, this is this is the thing that they're going to do to black people now. This is what they're going to do to black people now. This is this is the new coding. This is the new coding for black people now, right? Because the the whole reverse racism thing that that really just fell. That that just did, <laughs> that did not stick at all, and he knew it wasn't going to stick. Um, along with just trying to just paint black people as racist, that wasn't going to stick either because black people have been some of the most welcoming people when it comes uh, to this planet. And you can see what happens when we decide to welcome in people. Uh, We get mistreated. We get forgotten, bullied, and a variety of other things, right? So now this is pretty much the, oh, I'm sorry, before we get there, then they, they try to say that black people are phobic. Right. Uh, Phobia having basically a fear of. Right. Which black people do not. Well, I'm sorry. More specifically, black men, black men do not have a phobia, uh, because if you happen to ask or talk to uh, the great dealings of black men out here, they have right uh, family members who are of the gay community. So. Yeah, people can disagree, right? But just because somebody disagrees with something doesn't mean that they have a phobia. They they don't have to agree with everything that you do in order to love you. That's not how the world works. And I need uh, a lot of people to catch up to that, right? So that really technically fell flat there. And then they wanted to move on to the uh, the Asian hate route along with um, trying to say uh, as well, coinciding with that, uh, that black people... Uh, hate uh you know anybody else that is of the uh spanish 
you know speaking population which is not factual at all not factual at all so this is pretty much the last stop right and the hardest stop that they have right because it's technically worked in certain areas right and now they're going to sit up there and do it here so like i said before i, I I'm, I'm not going to take a guess i'm, I'm not going to try to be a wizard and get a you know a crystal ball whatever it is and and, and miss cleo my way through this whole thing y'all can research who you know who is in the media and different things of that nature like i said i don't know i'm not going to assume that i know or anything like that but i find it very interesting that somebody who was a part of and works with and for the media would try to get the microphone or basically during their time try to paint a black man as anti-semitic isn't that interesting after everything that's already been going on you're going to try to paint this black man for whatever reason as anti-semitic yeah like i said before whenever you have black men out here that want to specifically stand up and speak on something and this is what they believe you have a lot of individuals out there who are powerful who will decide to try to calm them down or teach them a lesson or um, try to have them switch their beliefs or their narratives or a variety of different things and that's clear cut what you see the media attempting to do with Kyrie.